Hey, do you want to move like an athlete but look like a bodybuilder? Watch this. Our next caller is Colby from North Carolina. What's up, Colby? How can we help you? Uh, hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, first off, uh, thanks so much for what you guys do. I uh, really appreciate uh, all the uh, context you guys bring to this uh, instead of uh, peddling a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. So I appreciate that. Um, I guess a little backstory first. Uh, I'm 39. Um, kind of just uh, trying to be a healthy, strong guy. Um, but like many people who call in, um, that journey started some time ago with CrossFit for me. Um, I uh, really enjoyed it. It, you know, it gave me uh, an entry to strength training. Uh, but I would never benefit from consistency because I would hurt myself, be out for two, three, four weeks, get back into it for a month or two, hurt myself. Um, so I, I, I straight away. I strayed away from that, and uh, I really liked the Olympic weightlifting. So I moved to another gym that did uh, Olympic weightlifting and strength and conditioning. And then that kind of got a little boring for me, um, so I just chose to focus on strength and conditioning. Been pretty consistent with that now. Um, but um, So my actual question comes from an episode you guys did recently where you said that um, chase performance and aesthetics will follow, mm -hmm. which I really like that. Um, so I'm curious if there is some ways that you can add some movements or some exercises to a strength focused workout uh, that would um, accelerate some of the aesthetic gains uh, because I'm not quite there uh, in the ways that I would hope to be. Okay. You well, you can combine, you can combine the two. We have a, um, a sexy athlete bundle, I believe, which includes maps, aesthetic and mass performance. And so, so think of it this way. Let's say you have four workouts in the week, Colby. Mm -hmm. You could make two and two, right? So two performance kind of based, uh, two like aesthetic, maybe bodybuilder focused, or you go three and one, depending on which one's more important to you, or mix it up. Or you could run one yeah. for a while and then like that's yeah. the way the sex. Well, another way to do it. You could do the performance and add the focus sessions in between. Yeah, you know, there's lots of ways you could kind of skin this cat. Are yeah. you are you familiar with any of our programs? Do you have any of them, Colby? Well, that was kind of my follow-up was I've really been looking at them um, recently, and um, I've been looking at the one that I think was anabolic to performance to something. There was like a little three-pack there. but So that was kind of my follow-up question was, is there a program you guys would um, push me towards that would be a, a good strength focus that might you know help you get bigger arms in the process or something? So if you would allow me to be your coach and tell you exactly what I would want you to do, it'd be I'd love to see you run anabolic, run performance, and then run mass aesthetic because in that it, order. In yeah. that order, because it literally it's the ideal that that it's going to hit everything that you're looking for. And then after you run through all three of those, which by the way is going to take you the, the next year to get through, right? Each one of them is about three three months or so. So once you go through all three of them, then you can kind of do what Sal was saying, where you can kind of pick and pull from some of them. Like, oh, I'm going to run, you know, two days a week that's going to look like MAPS performance. The other two days I'm going to pull in MAPS aesthetic. Like, and that we encourage that, right? After we tell people, like, you know, trust the process and, and, our, and our expertise in building and writing programs, follow it to a T. And then after that, you can start to kind of play with and mold yeah. uh, to more to your specific goals. And I, I think that that order would be ideal. Yeah. The other thing to consider too, Colby, with aesthetics, uh, especially for men, is getting lean makes a huge difference with aesthetics. You get away. You, I mean, just getting somebody to get down to, you know, nine, ten percent body fat, and it's like all of a sudden, just these aesthetics really start to pop out. So I don't know how lean you are. I don't know what your body fat percentage, or if you've ever really gotten to that point where you, you can see that kind of muscle definition. But that makes a tremendous difference when it comes to aesthetics. And sometimes we think we need, we want to get bigger to improve our aesthetics, when in fact we just need to get a little leaner. Well, this honestly it sounds like to me, and, and just because like I'm susceptible to wanting to just do athletic moves, wanting to just do Olympic lifts, wanting to just kind of go in that performance world only exclusively. Uh, once I ventured into hypertrophy training, it was game changer for me. And I don't know if you've actually put a, an entire focus on hypertrophy training specifically but to interrupt uh you know that and create a whole new stimulus for your body it's going to respond and you're going to love it yeah so we're going to do you since you don't have those programs we'll send them to you it's the rgb bundle so you'll actually get all three and then follow them in that order maps anabolic maps performance and then maps aesthetic and you should get okay. uh, a great deal of what you're looking for great yeah i appreciate it no problem there you go brother awesome thanks guys you're welcome you know, Justin is is right. Like he when he actually started to do that, his uh, 
you know, sex appeal on the you know, sexometer <laughs> went from like a, a, a four to like a solid six after he started I, doing I finally that. got some of your DMs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sol- <laughs> it was a solid six. Solid six. Solid Unfortunately, six. it was all dudes. <laughs> it looked, hey, right. let me at least you, I started getting DMs. Yeah, yeah. Dude, hey, you get, a guy tells you you look good, you look good. That's true. That's, That's probably true. a better a compliment. compliment than, yeah, it's yeah. a better compliment. I think, about, I think that most guys are actually oh, truly come, seeking that inside oh, the gym. Oh, yeah. Be honest, okay? <laughs> at, this, at this age right now, you're working out yeah. the gym. What's more? What is going to make you feel more impressed? Yeah. If a girl walks up to you, goes, "You have a nice yeah, back," yeah, yeah. or if a dude comes up and be like, no. "Dude, your back is yeah. your your arms are looking sick, bro." Yeah, yeah like, dude, high five. Yeah, Let's that's go. like that's worth like ten girls saying that too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just being honest here. Yeah, no, his question is common, right? The the whole balancing of performance and aesthetics. They do work very well together. They really do. I mean, you can go extreme in one or the other, but you can get, you can get a great balance with the two because they do communicate well to each other. They're not competing, you know, signals necessarily like you would find with other type of uh, pursuits. Well, we always have to remember, you know, I forget sometimes uh, the amount of people that are probably just finding us today, right? I mean, I I don't know exactly what it is, but it's probably thousands every day that are listening to their very first show. And we just assume that they kind of know the way we wrote these and the intent that we wrote them in, right? It's... And that, this is why we wrote this. Like we wrote the the you know maps anabolic, maps performance, and maps aesthetic in that order because it really is for the most part. There's always exceptions to the rule, and people with very very specific narrow goals. But for the general population that just wants to move better, look better, get stronger, like that is the order that I would take all those clients yeah. in so they could learn kind of the the process of building routines around those specific adaptations. And then from there, we would mold and modify based off of the things they like, they don't like, and more specific to their goals. But I mean, when I talk to someone uh, outside of, of our listener base and I'm telling them about the programs, like you look at it like an like a education process. Yeah. Like that's I mean, we wrote them with that intent. That's why they have so much stuff inside them is like, we weren't just like telling people, go work out, go try this workout mm-hmm. routine. It's like we're trying to educate you on how to build a program for yourself. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about the sexometer. I haven't seen this thing. <laughs> Is this like a scientific tool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll have Chokey posted on Instagram. It starts like this and then it yeah. Yeah. gets high noon. Solid six. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.